All right, well, taking some fresh air and adventure to the great outdoors. Camping season is here, so now is the perfect time to plan a family friendly exploration. Outdoorsman David Zelski is showing Trent a thing or two in our very own backyard. How's it going, Trent? Here, Ganeer, I am just beyond excited right now because the one, the only, David Zelski joins me now with Camping 101 top tips that you really need in your life. Oh yeah. And thank you for joining me. Absolutely, good to be here. all this. Yeah, just headed in the back of my truck, you know? <laughs> you really did. <laughs> and you make everything kind of very step-by-step -step and simple, but tell everyone uh, how you are such an expert, how you built your career on the outdoors. Well, it starts out going back to my, my youth. I was an Eagle Scout. It's not an easy thing. You have to learn a lot, but I also had parents who really supported that. They liked to take me camping. I ended up loving camping. Went out with my friends, went out with my father quite a bit, going out west. And now my family does it. My wife loves it. Sometimes we do tent camping. Sometimes we go RV camping. Sometimes, you know, these state parks all around Georgia, they have cottages, they have yurts, all kinds of options. So many awesome options. And tell, tell the people a little bit about great area state parks only an hour away. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? Chattahoochee State Park. Chattahoochee Bend State yeah. Park. And it's on the Chattahoochee, obviously, and it is a remote spot. You know, you have Atlanta, you can go rafting around here. You just go less than an hour. You have Chattahoochee Bend. You can hike to a campsite. They even have platforms if you want those too. Set up your tent. You can go fishing. You can go kayaking. They supply kayaks for you. But that gives you a little more remote, a little rugged. You know, you're getting out there a little bit more. Okay. But you have other options. You have High Falls, okay. Fort Yargo. Yes. Those are fantastic state parks. They're, they're busy state parks, but they're large. They have a lot of things to do. And yeah. these yurts, I tell you, these yurts you can plug in. Okay. You can plug in. You have mattresses. What? Yes. Yeah, yeah you have tables. Action. Yeah, you have tables. You can play games. Okay. You can do everything. So these yurts are amazing at, at many of the state parks. That's just two of them. Amazing. And just a short drive away. Yep. You can load up the car, load up the RV, and get going. Show us some of these essentials, which you really have us completely prepared. The Eagle Scout that you are. Uh, what <laughs> do we got going on here? What This, which I tried before the show, it's quite lovely. Yeah, smell um, it, smell it. It smells so good. Coconut. Yes. It's coconut and olive oil. What does this help with? This moistens your scalp. But more importantly, if you're down in South Georgia, you know how sometimes there's gnats. Yes. And I learned this one recently. This keeps the gnats away. You spray a little, see no gnats. And smell lovely. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know I'm a tech guy. We have this solar panel. This is, how do we do this and how do okay. we charge it up? You're a tech guy. You like to bring your phone. It is okay to bring your phone camping. Just so you know, I do. You got to know what time it is. You have an alarm you want to get up. You have a night light to read if you don't have a Kindle or something like that. You just plug it in. This can charge through the sun. So That's handy. the way it all should be, right? Put in your USB plug it cord. in. Yeah, you run out of juice, you plug plug it in there yeah. and it's going to hold your charge. It'll charge your phone while you're using it even. So these Amazing. are fantastic. They it's... even have a little light on there and a compass. What? It has all the things. <laughs> David Zelsky says, it's okay to bring my phone, so I'm bringing my phone, okay? We talked about footwear. Mm -hmm. um, so we have your uh, tennis shoes on right now, kind of hiking, hiking boots. boots yeah. Yeah, hiking boots, yeah. Yeah, they're a little rougher. They're, uh, you know, these will tear up a campsite. Okay. And a lot of these state parks, you want to take care of it, right? Yes. Because when you wear down a campsite, you can cause erosion, and erosion will dig holes through the campsite, bring water. That's not what you want. I don't want that. Protect your So I sites. got these. They're, you yes. know, they're all kinds of different brands. These are made of yoga mat and carpet fibers, but these are great low-impact shoes. Yes. So you're not going to tear up the campsite. And they're, it's good to get your hiking boots off when you've okay, been yeah. hiking a little bit, Very whether smart. it's a trail or whatever you want to do. But put these on. Don't tear up great. the campsites. Love that. And give the kids one of these. You don't need sticks anymore. Oh, yeah. S'mores. Yeah. You can do s'mores or hot dogs. Oh. You know, take that little uh, thing go. off right there. Amazing. Now it's sharp, but we put it back on, especially if you're with the kids and you don't burn yourself. Amazing, David. You have this tent set up. It took you what? Just like five minutes? Or no, even less. How long yeah, did it less. take you, you can You can pop this up. These are all, they lock right now, but you can just pop them up and down. You can get this tent up in about two minutes, if that, if you're working really hard. But you get it all set up and you have your stuff there. Now, this is something I want to show. Yes. It does rain down here in the south. And see, people lay their tarp out like this. They think it's blocking the rain, but all this is doing is creating a catch basin to have it run in there. So when you have your tarp, you want to roll it up. So now the rain is going underneath here. You're going to stay dry all night. So smart. Yeah, you don't Love want that. to get wet, when so it, especially if it gets the cold. Tarp. Yeah, don't let it flood you. That would be bad. And you also had a pro tip, putting the clothes in the sleeping bag. Yeah, and it's a great idea. Even if you don't think it's going to be cold, 
it's 60 degrees, you yeah. feel great, you go to bed, you wake up at two, oh, my nose is cold, my arms are cold, this is not a zero degree sleeping bag. It can get down in the 40s even if it's a nice day outside. So, instead of just getting your clothes out of your backpack, which will be as cold as the air out here, okay. you sleep with your clothes. There we go, So you have your thermals, you have your sweatshirt. Keep them warm and toasting. Uh, my carrot top here, got all kinds of stuff in here. And if it. you're lucky, you have your fish jammers Love here. Love the so look, these are David. Great. Obsessed. Okay, so we have a little uh, set up here. You got your fire working and a nice little chair. That's always helpful. Yeah, this is light. Take a seat. And it doesn't take oh, great. much space. This whole chair goes into this little thing right here. It's got lumbar support. I'm comfortable right now. And of course, you can cook. Yes. These are great. This is the lodge. And the great thing about these, the more you cook in it, the better it's going to taste. Love it. So I love that. Obsessed. I love that. Can we try the pop-up tent? Yes. I, don't know if we're no, I, want, I need your help with this one. Oh this could take oh. hours, right? Oh no. What? Stop. <laughs> this is awesome for backyard camping, anything like that. We're done. We're done. Look at that. The majesty. Sleep right on a curb here. Yes, but, please. Um, this is great. You want to camp out with the kids in the backyard, give it a shot. You're ready to go. Guys, even Look I at that. that. Come on now. Yeah. You're done. So easy. You're done. Pop you can stake it down, tent. keep it in place, but you can sleep probably four kids, two adults in there. You're good to go. Amazing. Thank you, David Zelski, from the excursion. Checking out for just all things outdoors. Uh, clearly, he's the pro at it. So, um, so find that on our Facebook page and find this full segment later on today. Kara, I'm just, I'm thrilled out here. I think I'm gonna sleep on the hammock tonight. You gotta get in there. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, but get in the awesome. hammock, Trent. Get in there. Okay. You got this. All right, be careful. You got I mean, it. There is Graceful. concrete below me. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> it's okay. Cozy. You look good, Woo! my friend. There you we look go. Good. Look. You look good. Camping, I like that pro tip about the tarp, too, under the tent. Genius information. For more information about David Zelski and his adventures, visit him online at theexcursiontv.com.